Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1, 2, 3. Through this video, we will discuss some easy method to find out square of two digit numbers. As you know, in physics, there are many places, many equations which includes square of physical quantities. So while solving those like of problems, you can use this technique to find out the answer quickly and easily. In this video, we will discuss three methods, three easy methods to find out square of two digit numbers. Out of that, the first method can be applied only to numbers ending with five. The second one can be applied only to numbers which are near to 50. Whereas the third method can be applied to find out square of any two digit numbers. So after watching this video, let the number be anything you can find out the answer of these squares in three seconds or less than three seconds. Hope you all are excited to see and watch what are those techniques which will make you solve these problems as quick as possible. Let's start with the first type. It is numbers ending with five. This is the easiest. You will not take any time other than writing the answer. For this, you can solve this by using two easy steps. One is multiply the first digit with its succeeding number. For example, if you want to find out the square of 75, multiply 7 with its succeeding number. It's nothing but 8. 7 8s are 56 and write 25 at the end. No matter what is the first digit, every answer will end up with 25. So first step is multiply first digit with its succeeding number, write 25 along with it. Your answer is ready. Shall we do some examples? 25 times 25 means two into its succeeding number is three, two threes are six, then write 25. Want to solve more? I hope you will be quicker than me while solving the next set of questions. 45 times 45, four fives are 20, write 25 at the end. Then 65 into 65 means six sevens are 42, write 25 at the end. 15 into 15, one is the first digit and its succeeding number is two, one into two is two, write 25 at the end. 95 times 95, nine, its succeeding number is 10, nine tens are 90, then write 25 at the end. Hope you all mastered this technique and you will be solving these like of questions within seconds, right? Shall we go to the next set of numbers, which are numbers near 50, which means these are the numbers in 40s or 50s. To find out the square of numbers near 50, there is a method which will take just three steps. But before I explain what are those three steps, keep one number in your mind. It is 25. All of you feed this number into your brain before we start solving the problems to find out square of two digit numbers near 50. It is nothing but 25. So let's keep 25 in our mind. Now you can solve this in three steps. First is find the distance from 50. I hope with an example it becomes more clearer, right? For that, I'll take the example as 52. If you want to find out square of 52, first step is what? Find the distance from 50. 52 is plus 2 from 50. Add or subtract to 25. Here, since it is a plus number, you have to add. 25 plus 2 is 27. Write square of the distance. Distance is what? 2. Square of 2 is 4, but make sure that you write the square as a two-digit number, which means you have to write it as 0, 4. So square of 52 is going to be 2704. Let's quickly look into the steps once again. Find the distance from 50, then add or subtract to 25, then write the square of the distance. Let's take another example, 48. 48, what is the distance from 50? It's going to be minus 2 from 50, right? Which means you have to subtract from 25. That is minus 2 plus 25 will be 23. Write the square of the distance. Square of minus 2 is 4. 
but you have to write it as a two digit number. So 48 times 48 is 2304. Hope you all are waiting to see the next examples and try to solve it quicker than me and cross check the answers whether you are able to find the answer the same way. 53 times 53 is 53 is plus 3 from 50. It's adding with 25, you will get 28. Square of 3 is 9, so write it as 09. So 2809. If it is 46, it is minus 4 from 50. So 25 minus 4 is 21. Square of 4 is 16. So 2116. 51 is plus 1 from 50. So 25 plus 1 is 26. Square of 1 is 1. So write it as 0, 1. 42 is 8 less than 50. So you have to write 25 minus 8 first. 25 minus 8 is nothing but 17. Square of 8 is 64. So 1,764. 58 times 58. 58 is 8 more than 50. So 25 plus 8 is going to be 33. Square of 8 is 64. It is as simple as this. You can write this with mental calculation if you practice with more of these like of numbers. Hope the second technique is also very clear and easy for you. Shall we go to the next numbers? This technique can be applied to any two digit number. Whether it is ending with 5 or near to 50 or anything else, you can apply this method. Okay. With an example, I will show you how to find out square of any two digit number. For that, first you have to write the square of the first digit as a two digit answer. Square of 8 is 64. Obviously, it contains two digits. Square of 6 is 36. That also contains two digits. Then multiply each of the digits and then double it, which means multiply 8 and 6, then multiply with 2. 8, 6 are 48. 48 times 2 is 96. Write the answer under the second and the third digit. 96, you have to write like this. Then add these things together. So it becomes 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. That makes it 7,396. 86 times 86 is 7,396. With more practice, you will become quicker in solving this too. You can take three seconds to solve these like of questions also. Let's practice faster. 61 into 61. Write the square of 6 as 36. Write the square of 1 as a two-digit number, which means 0, 1. Multiply 6 and 1, it becomes 6. Then multiply it with 2. 6 into 2 is 12, right? 1, 2, 7, 3. 3,721. Hope you all are waiting for the next set of questions to do yourself, right? 13 times 13. First, write the square of 1 as a two-digit number. So it, you have to write it as 0, 1. Write square of 3 also as a two-digit number, which means 0, 9. Multiply 1 and 3, then with 2. 1 into 3 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. That also you have to write as a two-digit number. Then write the answer. It's 169. So 39, sorry, 13 times 13 is 169. 94 times 94. First write square of 9 is 81. Square of 4 is 16. 9 fours are 36. 36 times 2 is 72, right? So your answer is 8836, 8836. If you want to square 39 times 39, write square of 3 as a two digit number. It's 09. Square of 9 is 81. Then 3 times 9 is 27. 27 times 2 is 54, right? So 1, 8 plus 4 is 12. It's going to be 15. So your answer for 39 times 39 is nothing but 1,521. This can be applied for any two-digit number, no matter whether it is ending with 5. See, even though we have studied one technique for finding this answer, I hope you'll be knowing the answer by now. 1 into 2 is 2, and then write 25. Let's see whether the last technique can be applied for this. First, you write square of 1 as a two-digit number. It's 0, 1. 
square root of 5 is 25. Then write 1 into 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. It's going to be 225. Same answer, right? So which means the last technique can be applied to any numbers. Let's apply 249 into 49. Four fours are 16. Square of 9 is 81. Four nines are 36. 36 times 2 is 72. Your answer is going to be 1. 8 plus 2 is 10. That makes it 7 plus 7. 14. That makes it 2. So your answer for 49 times 49 is nothing but 2401. Hope you all mastered all the three techniques and wherever square of two digit numbers are coming, I hope you all will be doing this, using this technique so that your calculations become quicker, easier and more accurate. Hope you all enjoyed watching this and you all enjoyed doing square of two digit numbers. Keep watching to master more maths tricks and to study physics topics in an easier way. Thank you once again for watching. If you did not subscribe my channel so far, please do subscribe so that we will not be missing any of the meetings. Thank you once again. Have a great day ahead.